All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I have something really, really cool to bring to you. These are the uh, SkyZone 02X FPV goggles. And these are in the uh, really, really cool Hydro Dipped Galaxy theme. Now, these were sent to me by uh, my friends at Banggood for review. And I have never really reviewed a set of goggles before. And I, my, my daily drivers are a set of HDOs. So, I mean, that's what I'm coming up against as for a comparison to these. And I have to say that these things are fantastic, especially for the price point. Compared to the HDOs, these are great. They aren't as good as the HDOs, but if you take a look at the price for what you get, there's, I have a hard time not recommending these. If you have the cash to plunk down for the HDOs and a rapid fire, and all the antennas, go for it, do that. But if you're getting into this hobby or you're trying to get out of the box goggle game, these are awesome. Uh, they are unbelievably light. Uh, I mean, especially, you know, compare it to, say, the HDOs, you know, one versus the other. These things are really light. Um, and everything's there. I mean, yeah, it comes with two of these craptastic rubber ducky antennas but you know we'll nobody ever uses those anyways um but it comes with the module built in and it also has a built-in head tracker where most other manufacturers you have to buy that separately but the user interface inside of these is is really nice it, it it's a no no fuss setup you just get them plug them in i'll throw some antennas on them and you go. There's no picking modules, screwing around with modules. There's no there's no hooking up wires to make your your defogging fan work. It's just it's all it's all built in. It's all one one deal. Um, you know, it has this, the typical IPD adjustments, HDMI out, AV in, AV out, um, a USB connection and another really cool thing is your uh, your SD card is right here rather than on the fat sharks where it's buried down between your eyeballs and uh, that thing's kind of a pain in the butt to get out um, compared to this uh, it comes with like I said two of these these garbage antennas which you know I don't blame them for not putting in anything good because people are going to put their flavor of antennas on uh, anyway. Uh, it comes with an AV cable, which these are pretty useful. comes with the head tracker cables, one with the uh, three and a half millimeter headphone jack and the other one with um, this style connector. I'm not really sure who that's for, uh, maybe Futaba or Spectrum or something, I don't know. But head tracker cables, and it comes with two pieces of face foam. Uh, and this is pretty, pretty standard stuff. It's nothing spectacular. Um, and we'll get into that here in a second. So the only thing that would make me recommend the fat sharks over these is the fit. Now the fit is very subjective from person to person, depending on your face shape, how big your nose is, how wide your eyes are apart, all that stuff. It, that'll all, that'll all change whether these are for you versus a set of fat sharks. For me personally, the fat sharks fit my face better. Um, these put a lot of pressure on my nose right here. So I went and upgraded the foam to the uh, Newbie, Newbie Drone uh, face foam. It's like a, a neoprene foam. And this stuff is just incredible. I, I highly recommend this. If you're running fat sharks or whatever, give this a shot. You'll, uh, you'll probably really like it. Um, but that, that made a big difference. And these things fit my face pretty well then. Uh, the other thing I, know, I like about the Sky Zones is they come with these, they look like diopters, but they're just little little plastic screen protectors. Uh, I don't know if it affects the optics quality or not. I, it doesn't seem like they do, but it would be nice if the HDOs came with just something to protect that piece of glass in there or any of the fart, fat sharks for that matter. Um, another thing, this is my first set of 16.9 goggles. And I have to say... I kind of like it. The The image quality is really, really good. Um, it's not as good as the HDOs, but I'd say it, it, I mean, I started off with 
a set of Attitude V3s, and these were the same price as this when I bought them. If this existed instead of this, uh, I definitely would have went for these um, coming into the hobby. But you know, that was a couple years ago. Things change quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> it does come with a, uh, a power cable, so you can just connect to XT60, like a 4S LiPo in your pocket. It doesn't come with um, a battery to go in the goggle strap like the HDOs do or any of the Fat Sharks do. But um, I'd show you that cable, but I don't know where it went. It has grown legs and run away. But I'm not really a uh, battery in the pocket type of guy anyways. I prefer to keep it on the goggles. That way there's no cords uh, hanging off of it. Um, it, this one does have the, uh, the, I guess, FPV camera, so you can see what you're looking at with the goggles on. Um, it's kind of fun to play with, uh, you know, if you're going to make like a Halloween costume, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, it's, it's pretty gimmicky trying to walk around with it, which, you know, of course you got to try it. It's pretty dangerous. <laughs> it is, uh, no depth perception and I don't know. It, it, it's interesting. It's an interesting feature. I don't know if I would ever use it on a regular basis. Um, if you have these and you use it regularly, um, go ahead and post in the comments why you use it and, and in what situation. Um, the, the hydro dipping is just immaculate. I mean, this is, this is really, really good looking. And you know, if you don't like the, the galaxy theme here or whatever it is, or the nebula theme, there's plenty of other options, uh, from sky zone, even just regular flat colors. Uh, the DVR on this, um, the DVR on this is terrible, I mean, just absolutely terrible. But I have seen other reviewers DVR video from this and it looks great. Mine is not so good. I don't know if there's some issue with the board or the connection on the DVR board, but this one is just, it's pretty bad. I mean, it's usable, but it looks really bad. Um, it may just be mine I've, because I've seen, like I said, I've seen others that look pretty good. Uh, it does come with a, uh, a storage case for your goggles. Um, you're not going to be able to leave antennas connected or anything like that. But it, you know, it is a little bit, a little bit taller than the Fat Shark box, but a little, a little shorter um, in this dimension here. But all in all, I give these things a, just two big old thumbs up this these are really good uh, they're definitely going to be my backup goggles um, just because i do still prefer my hdos with the rapid fire and even even the built-in receiver on this thing is really really good like no desire whatsoever to replace the receiver there was no issues with range or uh, reception at all on these i, I very, very surprised how good the receiver is inside of these things. Um, and that's something I've heard from just about everybody that I know that uses the sky zones that the receivers are really, really good. They're no rapid fire, but they're really good. Oh yeah. And there's a power button. If you're on, if you're on team power button, there you go. That'll make you happy. Anyways, uh, final thoughts on these. They're great. They're, they're absolutely great. There should be absolutely no hesitation to purchasing a set of these if you're trying to get into the goggle style um, FPV system, trying to get away from the box goggles, or if you're trying to recommend something to somebody coming into the hobby that wants to go with goggles but can't shell over the 500 plus bucks for the top of the line HDO rapid fire setup, these, these are awesome as long as they fit. If they don't fit and they're uncomfortable, they're almost always going to be uncomfortable unless it's just a little minor thing like just a tiny bit of nose pressure sometimes changing the foam out can help you but if you are curious try to find somebody that has a set of these try them on see if you like them um, yeah guys I, I i can't say enough good things about these if you have any questions about them please you know hit me up in the in the comments below i try to answer everything you guys throw at me um, if you're interested in checking these out or any other products, um, check out my Banggood links down in the description. They are affiliate links. Using those does help me bring product to the channel to review for you. And, uh, 
yeah, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I really like these things. They are, yeah, these are uh, an A plus recommendation provided they fit. Uh, all right, guys, I'll check you next time. See ya.